Good day, YouTube. What day is it? About the 20th of May, 2024. And uh, this is my Cushman UTV Max. It's a 48 volt electric vehicle. It's about the second video um, on stuff we're doing with this thing. And in this video, we are changing out the exterior lights to LED versions. So basically what we had is a couple headlights like these and it takes a uh, it took like a halogen type bulb maybe an incandescent type bulb um anyway i found some led versions that will fit this and they're coming i think they'll be here tomorrow and then we've got those uh turn signals which are you know like a trailer clearance light kind of thing they've only got two light bulbs in them and one of them doesn't work very good but uh i've got some better led a little bigger clearance lights that we'll replace so we'll do those uh quickly because we don't have the headlights today but we should have them again tomorrow so let's look at the back so in the rear we've got these and <laughs> they're broke <laughs> i put some bulbs in them so i could make them work so I can make sure that we've got you know good wiring all the way back here, and they do. So what I bought was these. So these are, I'm hoping, are exactly like what I put on the back of this Cushman as a center brake light. So it will work as a tail light and a brake light. And in the brake light mode, this one comes on and does some wigwag stuff. It's pretty cool. Gosh, I hope these are the same. They look the same. The same length and everything. So I'm hoping these are the same. Because I really like that one. Um, these are Amazon. It was a two-pack for around 14 bucks or something. So you can uh, look them up. LED brake. But see, this has separate uh, turn signal and brake light wires. So... Um, you really can't share them. You could put an adapter in, you could share them, but for me, it'd be more fun to put two lights in. They could both run as tail lights on each side, so two on each side. One would be a brake light, one would be a turn signal. So we'll put the brake light uh, one on the bottom and the turn signal one on the top. Figure out spacing. We'll get them on there. We'll get them on there. We've been doing this a while. Here's the lights we're going to put in the front for turn signals. There's probably, oh, eight or ten yeah i think there's ten at least ten leds in there so these would be awesome way brighter and so forth and then of course the headlights so um they had these black uh, trim rings around the front they're a little crusty so i'm going to clean these up get them painted with truck bed liner i'm going to try and get to the bolt store today I, these look like 1024s I'm going to get eight stainless uh, Allen head cap screws to bolt these in. Um, because the lights come in from the back, I put some duct tape on the front so I could hold them there. And they have actually really nice nylon inserts to run those bolts into. So it's going to look good on that. So good thing the headlights were both in good condition. And uh, with only one bulb... And actually with zero bulbs and with just these front clearance lights working the flasher still work so we shouldn't have any trouble putting leds in and keeping the flasher working that's the hope anyway and then the one other thing we're going to do so i actually spent quite a little bit of time cleaning up this fiberglass this gel coat and trying to make it shine with no luck um doors came out nice but they're metal and they're painted and they came out very nice i, I like them they're Glass cleaned up good. Actually, I thought some of this was plexi. And boy, that is plexi. But the inside one is real glass. And then the windshield is real glass. In fact, it's you know, they're safety glass. This thing could go on the street if it went fast enough. As a, what we call, low-speed vehicle here in Oregon, anyway. But it doesn't meet the speed requirement. But it has to go... I'll have to double check the rules. It either has to go 20 or it has to go 25. Um, and then you, you can get a low speed vehicle tag, which allows it to be driven on the street, provided uh, you don't go on streets with a speed limit posted more than 
35 miles an hour. So if it's 45 or 55, you're not allowed on the street with a low speed vehicle, but 25, 35 mile an hour zones, they're fine. Um, I might go through that process. We'll see. We'll see how this thing goes. Um, and we'll see what the law says about speed. So um, these are 18 inch tall golf cart tires. Um, obviously, if you could put a taller tire on, you get more speed. Um, stay tuned for that. So, um, without further ado, let's uh, see what it takes to get those lenses off the front. Like, can I have a bigger pair of these pliers? Yeah. Something like that. We don't need to save them or anything. I'm not going to ever use them. Because I know I tried to get them with a screwdriver and uh, they're not having it. Hang on. I don't want to ding the fiberglass. Although the lights I'm putting on are, would cover it a little bit. Wow. Dang. Shoot. I'm going for full breakage here in a minute. These things are tough. I'm, they're actually bending the lenses. I thought it shattered a no end. Huh. Must be semi sealed, but I know there's a screw in there. I got a nut on the back side. Right? I do a. Let me dig around in there. Maybe there's actually a screw in there. All right, they were screws from the inside. Uh, sheet metal screws with three washers on them. <laughs> yeah, but we got them. See what I mean? That one is a fairly light nut. Bulbs dying. They're obviously sealed. Um, not bad little lights, I guess. If it lasted this long. All right, let's uh. Get those pulled out of there, throw them in the garbage, and uh, get the spot behind them all cleaned up, and we'll fit the new ones on there. All right, here we go. All right, we got those changed out. I just used uh, spade terminals to put them together. They'll just tuck back in there. These have uh, 12 LEDs in them. Five top, five bottom, two in the middle. Yep, way better. They do sit off uh, the body just a little bit, so I'll put some silicone uh, caulking around that, some clear silicone to seal them up. And they'll be good to go. Now I think we need to move on to these headlight rings and get those cleaned up and painted. Um, I got some wax and junk on them. We've got to get all that off there. So wipe them down with acetone. We'll hit them with a Scotch-Brite pad. And uh, if that looks good, then we'll paint them up again with some truck bed liner and get those uh, drying. And the light bulbs will be here later today, I think. So uh, we'll get those working. And then we'll move on to the taillights. That'll be awesome. Here we go. Well, guys, I'm down at the uh, hardware store getting stainless steel screws, Allen head, button head. Um, put these headlights in and... Uh, I thought I'd check Amazon real quick, see how my LED light bulbs are coming. It says, out for delivery, and then it says, you're the next delivery. And then I saw the delivery truck basically move on the map, and I went, holy smokes, he's like two blocks away from my house. And yep, sure enough, they beat me to the house. I have all my freight delivered to the house, not here to the shop, because um, we're not always here. And uh, yeah, yeah. I swung by the house and there they were sitting on the porch. So I got one of them installed. It's very bright. It's awesome. It's everything I was hoping for. And uh, so we get this other one put in. I got the uh, headlight rings all cleaned and I uh, shot the uh, bed liner on them. This is what I get at Harbor Freight, this iron armor. It's really good. Guys, I... Uh, I've been using it now for quite a few years. Um, it became unavailable for a while, but it's available again. It's something like 10 bucks a can. Works really good. Um, it looks really good. So I've moved this a time or two. Probably going to be just a little bit tacky. I'll take it out here in the sun. Maybe you get a better 
view of it. But yeah, really looks good. I mean, these were a little rusty and crusty and whatever, but um, it'd probably be best if I had to let this sit for overnight, but probably not going to. We're going to put them in, so uh, we'll just be careful. Probably going to scratch them just a little bit, but that's okay. So, yeah, here we go. Let's get this other light in, and then we can clean up the headlights themselves, and we'll get them all put back in and fill those uh, ugly black holes in the front. Here we go. You guys, headlights are in. What do you think? They look great. I believe the LED versions of these bulbs are... Uh, cheaper than the incandescent version of these bulbs so these are a 45 watt incandescent bulb all right so if you're trying to find these all i did was search for i found out what this stanley bulb part number was I, it escapes me now. i don't remember what it was um 12 volt 45 watt if you search that on amazon and then add led this was the only option that came up so there's no information on the box that it came in either. That's the box. For like a part number. Can't really help you. Maybe that's got something on it. Okay. Freeze frame. Okay. If you want to find that. Um, great bulbs. They look great. Nice, bright, white. Awesome. I'll shut them down and I'll show you the surround and the stainless screws and stuff that I got headlights off switch off yeah I mean that that black bed liner spray paint that I showed you is great and then of course I picked up the stainless screws for you know four bucks worth of screws they're like 50 cents a piece or something that are McDonald bolt and whatever yeah they got everything I mean they got everything that's awesome all right so front end is done this thing is just going along swimmingly and now we got to focus on the rear the downside is um this thing's too heavy for my 1500 pound rated lift to pick up and uh i'm not real interested in working this thing too close to the ground but we'll see what this does my back's not worth a damn so um i gotta be careful what i do or i'm done for a couple days so we gotta get underneath there get those out of there the wiring's all good and then we just gotta put these things in so yeah might uh, try to jack this thing up just a little bit and uh kind of go from there it's nice working on it inside if i don't get done then you know you just shut the doors uh, i gotta tell you i don't know if i'll get to it or not but um, I spent, I started to tell you earlier in the video, I, I spent like half a day, many hours anyway, a few hours, trying to polish this thing out. And uh, with very limited results, it was really hard to do. So I got frustrated and went to Amazon and searched for, you know, like boat, because this is like a fiberglass boat, right? And I came up with this McGuire's, and I go, hey, McGuire's probably got this thing figured out. So I ordered this, so it was like... $17 or something like that and I tried it in a couple spots one of them is right here and it went from I mean I've already worked this over and it really brought it back I know it's difficult to tell but it's actually got a little bit of a shine to it now and it's much smoother and the little stains and stuff are gone so I tried it back here and it's it's very evident I mean you can see what I did um, and I hadn't worked this area. I basically gave up because it just wasn't working very good. So um, I think uh, this is awesome. Um, it, if I'd have had this, I should have just waited. But if I'd have had this, it'd be done by now and it would all look better. But, you know, up on top, it's really, really stained and stuff. And uh, what I was doing just wasn't going to cut it. So i um, pretty happy to have found that. Boy, with I think with a buffer or something... This thing would really, really shine. But we'll see. It, it was working really good by hand, too. So I'll probably start out doing it by hand. I'm trying to pull these screws out, but I think there's a nut on the inside of the seat that's turning. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to replace those, but I think we're going to have to paint them or something to make them look better. 
I'll take my rust converter, um, that rust sergeant stuff, try to convert this rust and come back over and paint these or something. We'll do something like that because they just look ugly and that they're not coming out. So I don't want to ruin that seat. The seat's great, but whatever's holding it there isn't great. All right, let's, uh, let me get figured out how I'm going to deal with these rears. We'll get the old ones off and we'll get a plan to put these new ones on. All right, here we go. All right, we're working on the taillights and uh, I'll show you something here. It's kind of cool. So it's got this little round thing where the wires come out and it protrudes in. So that needs to have a hole drilled or it's not going to set level, right? And so I've got a, a, a step bit. And what I did was drilled out holes that were already there that bolted the old taillights in. So you see that? So I drilled these out because they're the same on both sides. You don't have to measure anything because, and then, so these will just cover. So this will fit into there, okay? So that will work out great. And then I thought, well, if I had something that I could level it across, I could measure, I could draw lines. It's hard to work in there. I stuck my fattest magnetic level right there and it was a perfect fit. I stuck another level between that one and the top light, and it was a perfect fit. So I've got, I took a Sharpie and marked the four holes. Sharpie. And now I can uh, take this stuff apart. And drill my holes. Right? Pretty slick, isn't it? This thing really come together easy from the from the get go. Nothing on this thing has fought me. You know how things can just like bite you all the way. This one's just gone too easy. So maybe the motor's gonna explode or something. I don't know. Anyway, you can see I got the four holes marked. I'm gonna get those drilled out. Get the other ones marked. Get those drilled out. Find some screws. I think I'll just use a tech screw, or sheet metal screw. I'll go see what I got, and. Uh, We'll get those things mounted, and then we'll get them wired. Okay, here we go. Guys, I think that's going to finish up our LED lighting upgrade. Um, one thing um, is the, the flasher unit that was in this, which I put it back in, um, won't deal with the low power consumption of the LEDs. I tried this one. Um, didn't work. I have some two-prong LED flashers on the shelf, but I don't have any three-prong, and that's what's in this thing. So I ordered one. It'll be here tomorrow. Um, I'll throw that thing in there. So right now the uh, flashers aren't flashing. I've got emergency flashers on now. Of course, they're not flashing, but uh, that gives us the top lights. Okay, The brake lights will be on the bottom. And then, of course, both of them will come on. Um, so I'll cancel my emergencies, turn on the headlights. So that brings the LED headlight bulbs on in front, nice and bright. And in really good shape. And that brings on both lights in the rear. Pretty good. All right. Um, so that was a good deal. Um, the other thing I'll show you is this morning I sanded down this shelf. It was a total rust bucket. And uh, yeah, we blew it off, wiped it down, and sprayed it with bed liner. Yeah, looks good, doesn't it? Looks good. So, um, the flasher unit is right here in this compartment. It took me a while to find it, I gotta say. So I've got this little cover off, a couple screws, and uh, anyway, let me find the master cylinder. So there's the flasher. We'll wait for the LED flasher to show up tomorrow, and we'll be 
in business. So got a couple other things planned for this thing this week. So continue to stay tuned for the last few little projects. And uh, this thing's going to be 100% and I'll have to figure out what I'm doing with it. It'd be fun to kind of keep it. Um, we'll see. I don't need this and the golf cart. So, yeah, one of them's got to go. Maybe both. I don't know. Figure it out as we go. Guys, thanks for watching this video, though. Please give it a thumbs up on the way out. And uh, share it with a friend. Said that, hey, you ever seen such a weird vehicle? It's a pretty ugly vehicle, actually. So ugly, it's cute. And uh, we'll finish this up in the next uh, week or two. And then move on to something more interesting. All right, guys. Thanks again. See you on the next video.